Hello my dear students. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss MCQ for lower forecasting PSOC subject. Question number 1. Load forecasting is a method to estimate the load for future. So our answer is option number A. Question number 2. The load curve describes variations of load with respect to time. So our answer is option number B. Question number 3. Daily load curve divided into how many parts? So it is divided into two parts. Option number B. Now question number 4. Load forecasting is nothing but to estimate to estimate the option number A and option number B. That means our answer is option number C, both A and B. Now question number 5. In load forecasting, the present and lead time is represented by so the present is represented by sigma and lead time is represented by j. So our answer is option number A. Now question number 6, load forecasting methods are, so our answer is all of the above, that means A, B and C. Now question number 7, the extra, uh, the extra plotations method is based on the, so it is based on the option number uh, D, cow fitting to previous data available, option number D which is our correct answer. Now question number 8. Extra plotations method is also known as a deterministic method. So option number B which is our correct answer. Now question number 9. Match the standards analytical with its equations. Okay. So over here uh, option number uh, first one kya diya hai? straight line, second one uh, parabolic, third one S curve, uh, fourth one extra, uh, exponential and fifth one gym parts. Okay, so according to that, we have to find out correct one. So, our answer is option number B. Now, question number 10. Which of the following method is generally adapted for the curve fitting? So, our answer is option number C, least, uh, least square. Now, question number 11. Which of the following techniques is the basic for extrapolation? So, our answer is parabolic extra plotations option number B. Now question number 12. The correlation techniques relates uh, system load to both A and B that means option number A consider various demographic factors and option number B economic factor also. So our answer is option number C both A and B. Now question number 13. Which of the following equation is used to estimate the average term in the deterministic part of load. So our answer is option number A. Now 14 number. What is the limitations of estimations of average and trend terms of deterministic part of load? So our answer is data processed may not be adequate for the statistical calculations. So option number C which is our correct answer. Now 15 number. Which of the following is the simplest form of statistic time series model? So our answer is autoregressive model option number D. Now 16 number. What is the disadvantage, uh, disadvantages of correlations method? So our answer is load forecasting for demographic and economic factor is difficult option number D. Now 17 number. Limitations of Kalman and prediction techniques which is depends on the availability of required state variable model of the date load data which is not available at starting so option number b which is our correct answer so this is the limitations of kalman and prediction techniques and 18 number which of the following approaches is utilized to overcome the limitations of kalman and predictions method so our answer is option number c innovations model